Uh, good morning. Uh, uh, welcome uh, to this very first session this morning. Uh, we have such a huge space and few audience, so you can feel free to ask any questions after the session. Uh, I'm, I'm Fu Qiao from China Mobile. Uh, I'm responsible for the China Mobile Open NFA Test Lab, and also I'm uh, engaged in the European NFA community. Uh, Wang Lei, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, uh, hi, uh, I'm Leo, I'm from uh, Huawei, and I'm now uh, working on the OPMV uh, testing projects. Right. Uh, okay, so uh, this session we would like to share the ongoing work uh, and experience we, we have in China Mobile uh, when we're doing large-scale integration and testing. Uh, we would like to uh, show the difficulties and problems we have and how we solve this problem using the open source tools that OpenFA provide us. So uh, this is the logistic uh, of today's talk. Uh, I will first uh, introduce the uh, NFA integration and testing work here in China Mobile, our requirements, our scenarios, and the automatic uh, integration testing framework. And then uh, Leo will give more details of the open source tools we're using and finally show the demo. So the key words in this session is network function virtualization. Uh, the concept of NFE is to reconstruct the current network uh, made of lots of bulky uh, physical hardwares into uh, virtual services running on the cloud. So through these years, NFE has actually developed from single concept on the white paper to frameworks that proposed by SENFE and uh, now to lots of experiment, field trials, and even some commercial uh, deployments. Uh, here I also uh, listed uh, some of the uh, VNFs. Uh, that has been widely considered as the first group of VNFs that could be virtualized in the cloud, like virtual IMS, virtual EPC, which has been talked about and discussed by lots of people in an NFV area. Uh, most of the tier one service providers actually have begun their experiment on uh, NFV for, for several years. In China Mobile, we actually began our NFV-related testing a few years before, and we established our open NFV test lab uh, in, back into 2015. And late last year, we have uh, began this work on, on what we call the NovaNet experiment network. Uh, it is uh, composed of uh, multiple data centers from four provinces in China. Uh, we, we will do multiple virtual service testing. Uh, the virtual services that I mentioned in the previous slides will all be considered in this network. And then we are, we, we are, going to, uh, we are doing the integration and testing for uh, multiple infrastructures, hardwares, and virtual services. Um, by doing all this work, we hope that we could figure out the problems and difficulties when we are really doing the field deployment and try to smooth the whole procedure and to reconstruct, to reconstruct our future network. So now we have at least six infrastructure vendors uh, uh, that we are considering this network, and we have like five services, each with two to three vendors. So you can see there could be uh, lots of combinations of the infrastructure vendors and service vendors, and the integration and testing work is tremendous. It is almost impossible for us to, to work all this work manually, so that's why we propose this automatic system. And these slides show how our future network actually structured. Uh, we say that it, uh, it was structured with multiple data center, which we called Telecom Integrated Cloud, TIC. TIC is actually uh, just a standard unit for our future network. Uh, we say that it should be structured in a layered manner, taking consideration of the telco nature services that it actually supports. Um, so you see that it, it is, uh, at this point, it is different from the private and network, uh, pr uh, private and public network. So uh, we say that it was in two layers. The upper layer is what we call the core tick, uh, 
which basically support the uh, control plane surfaces. And the lower layer is called the regional tick, uh, support the data plane surfaces. We actually uh, did a calculation of how many ticks we should have when we uh, finish the, the reconstruction of the whole network. We do that calculation based on the throughput of our current network, and the result is like uh, 50 to 100 core tick, and uh, maybe stayed in the most of the big cities in China, and 1,000 to 3,000 regional ticks stay quite close to the end users in counties and towns. Uh, so, uh, when you zoom into each tick, you can see that it's a quite a standard unit for NFA deployment. Uh, we will have limited number of design template. So, what we mean template here is nothing of the hate template or things like that. It is actually means a set of choices of the infrastructure, the VM, and the ultrastrator. So, we say that we could have, we think, uh, four uh, templates and to support uh, multiple uh, VNS of different kinds. Uh, one, the first template could be a template for the control plane, for example, virtual IMS, uh, which will stress on the uh, uh, compute capability. And uh, we will have template for data plane services like uh, virtual EPC, that's stressing on the uh, data forwarding cap capability. And we will have template for edge services like virtual CPE that will stress on low cost and lightweight. And finally, a template for storage services like virtual CDN, which stress on the uh, storage capability. And also, TIG will have unified hardware models and network design. Uh, taking consideration that this uh, TIG things is uh, quite standardized, you can have a quite standard integration and testing procedure. So here I just give a quite generic uh, view of how this procedure should be. Uh, first we have all the hardware prepared and configured of course, and then we will have this what we call the platform uh, to be ready and tested. Uh, this will include the hypervisor, the VM, and the ultrastrator. And finally we will have the VNF uh, deployed and tested, and finally the, the service launched. So here is how this uh, automatic integration and testing system will look like. like. We, we basically use Jenkins to help us manage the different workload and uh, automatically ex execute uh, different integration and testing uh, tags. And we will have a Jenkins slaves responsible for each tick to do all the integration and testing. Uh, and on the slaves, we'll have like deployment tools, testing tools, and we'll consider of, uh, certification tools as well, so that we can do the compliance and the certification using the same framework. We also have Git and Garrett in the system to help us manage the uh, test cases. So uh, here uh, we have we, we now have the open source uh, open source tools that OpenFA provide us using on the slaves. So you see we use Compass as the installer uh, to uh, to do the deployment work, and we use Funktest and Yardstick to do the functional and performance testing, and we use Dovetail to help us do the compliance and certification testing. Uh, but you see that this framework is rather open, so you can easily add on um, proprietary, uh, more test cases like proprietary test, testing tools in this framework. For example, we'll consider adding proprietary testing tools from Ixia, Spiron, and et cetera. Uh, so here comes the flowchart for all this procedure. You can see that the, the blue box actually means the deployment, and the purple box is the testing, and they all share a root cause analysis system in the red box. Uh, anything that goes wrong will go to this system to help the maintainers check out what the problem it really is and how to solve the, the problem. Uh, so the basic um, procedure is like we first have the NFEI uh, plus VM to be tested, uh, to be deployed and tested, and then we will have the ultrastrator deployed and tested, and then we will have a sample VNF deployed and do the onboarding test to make sure that we have all the network compute storage that is okay, uh, and finally is the VNFs. Uh, we will have it and the. the actual service testing running on the system and finally the service is successfully launched. Uh, I will give the rest of time to Leo to give more details of the open source tools we're using and show the demo. 
Uh, hello. Since the system using a lot of tools from the OpenV, so I will introduce these tools uh, one by one. Okay, the first one uh, is the Compass, a, a powerful installer of the OpenV. Uh, uh, it can uh, install the OpenStack and also a lot of other uh, interesting uh, features to the uh, environment. So uh, it has a lot of features, but I guess uh, there is some more. There are four key uh, features that you uh, want to know. The first one is that it can, uh, of course, deploy to the bare metal. And it has a mechanism of auto discovery of the hardware, and it can support a rise of a, the uh, kind of servers and the switches and the storages. And uh, also, it's a package installer. It has a, actually, uh, its release is just a ISO of all kinds of packages for an offline uh, support that, a, uh, for now, it uh, support for the CentOS and the Ubuntu, and also it support a lot of OpenStack versions like uh, from Juno uh, to the uh, latest uh, Luton. And uh, it uh, includes the WinF, something like uh, WMS, uh, WEPC, and uh, etc. And also, it's very extendable. It can be easy to add uh, new applications to this uh, installer. Uh, actually, we now support uh, the, this compass uh, can install something like uh, the uh, ODR, Alus, and uh, uh, something like uh, uh, SAF. Also, uh, we can add a lot of other features to the installer. And also, uh, is a, the OS installer. It will use the uh, Cobbler for the PXE, and we use the OpenStack Ironic for uh, the metal. Uh, for bare metal, and also uh, it has a application management using the most famous compilation ELK to uh, monitor and log the application status. Uh, and also, uh, it has a web UI. If you don't want to use its command-like uh, interface, then you can use this uh, web UI. Uh, to see every step of this uh, installation, you can uh, change the parameters and uh, do some manually modification, and then you can uh, deploy this environment uh, by yourself and with any uh, features you want. And the next is the OpenV testing projects. Uh, the OpenV has been devoted to uh, NFV testing for a long time. It currently has a lot of testing tools, some like uh, the functional testing, uh, which we call the func test, and the, the performance testing we call Yardstick. And also there's REST uh, uh, performance testing, something like, like the VSPerf uh, focused on the OpenV switch and the StorePerf. Uh, focused on the storage, and also there are Q-tip, uh, bottlenecks. Uh, there are a lot of uh, testing projects uh, which uh, have a different uh, field to to test. And uh, here we can see the, to the left, the first one is the uh, the dovetail. That is for OpenV compliance verification. Uh, and I will introduce all these. Uh, Tours. The next uh, page, and then there, uh, to the right, there is the test t the tiers, and we have a uh, from the health check, smoke check, and also something like uh, wing uh, including a lot of test cases. So we can uh, run test uh, from tier to tiers. And here we can see this uh, fun test uh, test cases, uh, including four fields. The first one is the uh, OpenStack. Here are uh, WPIM test cases. Uh, the, this test case uh, just to create VMs and verify the connectivities. And uh, 
also this uh, there is a rally uh, bench test to benchmark the OpenStack deployment and also we have a tempest test to uh, run OpenStack native uh, tests and the second field is about OpenV feature projects there's not a, a lot of feature projects uh like i said the uh, the copper test cases uh, focus on the uh, policy management and doctor test cases uh, focus on the fault management and the domino test cases focus on the uh, templates releasing and the multi site focus on the multiple open stack cluster cascading and uh, also there is some uh, there is a promise test case focus on the resource reservation and uh, schedule uh, the SDN VPN test cases focus on the uh, VPN. So you can see there's a lot of uh, uh, test cases. So we can use them to uh, to test your uh, NFY platform to say if uh, it match your requirement. And also we have uh, the third field is about the SDN controller. There our test cases for ODL and the test cases for Honus. And the fourth uh, field is the WinF. Here we, uh, we take the uh, Clearwater IMS as a uh, sample to test the WinF. Uh, next one is the Yardstick. Uh, the Yardstick. Uh, in the last picture, we can see the Yardstick is connected to the other to uh, rest the performance testing because a, it supports a, a plugin a mechanism that it can easily add the rest of the performance uh, testing projects and uh, so all these performance tests can be in, in one uh, can be in a one project that we can run all these performance tests uh, in one touch. The Yardstick also supports the RESTful API that can be easily uh, integrated with the other projects. Uh, and uh, some, uh, as we see, the Dovetail can easily use this Yardstick for its uh, uh, certification. And the Yardstick uh, also supports some uh, system network configuration. That uh, and, uh, it also can support test case control. That means you can uh, specify a single one test case to run, or you can select a, a test tier. That includes a lot of test cases. And um, there's a lot of ways to uh, methods to. Uh, to, uh, to to dispatch the test results, so you can uh, save all these test results into a local file, so you can uh, review this data later, or you can upload this test case to a remote database. Uh, then you can uh, for a, uh, for a persist uh, storage, or you can uh, upload this uh, test result to a remote uh, Flux DB, and you can use the Grafana to uh, view the data uh, with all kinds of charts and tables. And uh, all these test cases are decomposed with the, uh, this testing uh, framework that you can freely add or remove the test case uh, without uh, a change of code. And finally, uh, it's the Dovetail. And Dovetail is a project that uh, delivers uh, actually uh, the test cases that from the upstream uh, testing project used to uh, to to see if the the target system can meet uh, OPMV requirements. That's just for the compliance verification. So. You can see in this picture that after you run the test, uh, you can put the results to a remote DB and ask the reviewer to check your data and uh, give a report about your system that uh, if your system is match the OPMV requirement and uh, then they will give a uh, certification. But for ours, this 
for our system, we just use it for uh, testing, so we don't have to uh, upload the results now. Here, we just use Dovetail to uh, test the M MFVI platform. Okay, so uh, enough talking. You know, we can uh, say a demo. Since it takes a lot of time to deploy, so we provide a video where Okay. Full screen. Wait a moment. All right. Okay, here uh, we first uh, we will. We we'll log in to the uh, Jenkins, so we can see a lot of jobs there. Of course, we have already uh, configured these jobs, so here we just uh, point and click, so everything is go everything is good, and uh, and everything you you need to do is just to uh, click the start button, and then you can go out if everything is okay. And here we can see, uh, let's go. Uh, this is the deploy, deploy a job. Here we use this deploy job to uh, install the OpenStack, the uh, OpenO, and the, the VMS all in one. So let's check this job. And sorry about uh, this Chinese text. <laughs> But I guess uh, the most uh, important uh, part is uh, in English. Here we can check all these uh, parameters, and if they are right, correct, and we can just start building. OK. Start building, and we can see uh, what's the output. So uh, there's not a lock. Uh, to trace the uh, status of this installation. Um, it takes a lot of time, so uh, we, here we uh, fast forward. So it seems much uh, faster than a real, in real world. Okay, it may take uh, several minutes, so just take some patient. Okay, here uh, is the, uh, the, uh, the package installation. And so, if, and here is the open O, the open O installation. Okay, so, uh, hi, uh, this is Gurpreet Singh from Spartan Communications, and uh, while this is going, I thought uh, maybe it may be a good time for a question because it's, we're going through this uh, installation process here. So, what kind of test tools or traffic generators or uh, you are using in your platform right now? Uh, uh, um, basically, we are using actually uh, for deploy. We're using Compass, and uh, actually there are four installers in in the open way. So. We choose the Compass because uh, it has a, a, a lot of years the experience about how to use that. Sure. And also uh, for testing, we're actually using the most of the testing tools. Uh, actually, maybe uh, maybe all of them. <laughs> so uh, we don't have to worry that if we are uh, losing something. Okay. Okay. Right. That, that's fine. I think we can. Continue. Okay. Yeah. Okay, then the, uh, we start to run the func test to see if uh, it's functional, right? Uh, the same procedure that we check the parameters, we start building, and we, then we uh, just wait for the.
Yeah, here uh, I see. Just uh, check the connection to the OpenStack, so we can see uh, some some open R state files, and uh, also we'll check some uh, resources and creating some resources to for the test. And here is the test case. There's a OK uh, follow every uh, test case, so everything is good. Right, uh, because we select a uh, a simple test case, so it. Uh, it takes not that long time to uh, see the results to save our time, I think. Okay, after the fun test, uh, we will see the yardstick. And here we manually click all these uh, to start all these uh, testing projects. Actually, we can put all these jobs into a pipeline that they can uh, run automatically. So it's just for demo that we uh, manually uh, start all these tests. So they are all same, uh, same the same, just a lot of locks. All right, it's done. Uh, that's the why is the dovetail. All right. Start building and we check uh, the logs. So here we will pull a lot of uh, Docker image and start containers to uh, to run the test case from upper stream, from upstream uh, testing projects like Funk Test, like Yardstick. Here we just run the test case from Yardstick. Uh, it's the HA test case. So it's very easy to add or re, uh, or remove this test case if, uh, that you can uh, decide uh, what to test. All right, here uh, we can see a lot of uh, testing results here. Uh, the past, all the test cases passed. So we got the success, all right? It must success. And then finally, we will use, uh, we will see if the wing app is uh, working, so we would, uh, Make a phone call with this uh, I, with IMS. So we uh, use a, a simulator to call. At the moment, actually, I can. Uh, sorry. 
So uh, there are two people that using the VMS. So right, you cannot hear the voice, but uh, we can see this. Uh, the volume is uh, changing. So there are people talking in English. <laughs> so you can see there is a. indication that they are still talking. Maybe they are have a long chat. <laughs> so we can wait. They really like chatting, I think. So, so that's it. So we can see the people are using the VMS to uh, make a phone call. That means the VMF is actually running and working well. So uh, any questions? I, I guess we have reached the top of the, the session. Uh, if uh, you have any questions, you can come to us after uh, the session and we will give the space to the next session. Thank you very much to everyone. Thank you.